You know what we didn't do? What? An intro. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome to our channel. My name is Melissa. My name is Jaime. And we are Hi Melly Pets. <laughs> That's the intro. Hi All right. <laughs> Hello guys. Hello guys. Hello guys. Welcome to our channel, right? Brand new channel, brand new content. What's it about? Today we are actually introducing all our pets. So this is a channel awesome. of pets, exotic pets. So we're gonna introduce them to you guys today. So our first animal that we're gonna show is our um, white tree frog. frog. He is um, with the name Willie. There's a no background to that to the name, but um, and K Moko because he looks like a burger, a burger, <laughs> a burger. <laughs> a burger. <laughs> he is our first amphibian, and there is Willie. He was the first animal we got that was amphibian, and he's also the one of the few that we actually got at a pet store. He's going from the time of recording this is actually gonna be a, m a month. Exactly a month. It's like a month in. Exactly a month in. Let's go to the so, other one. Welcome Willie to the family. <laughs> our next animal that we're gonna introduce is our um, Mika. He's a Mexican alligator lizard. There you go. There you go. That's yeah. Mika. That's a Mexican alligator lizard. We got him about a month ago actually, about on the fourteenth of July. Um, he is a biter, so that's why um, he's wearing gloves and I'm not holding him. Yeah. <laughs> so Mika's our only biter. He's, uh, he or she um, isn't used to. He's actually a rehome. Someone rehomed this to us because they didn't want a biter animal. So I'm going to put him back. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to put him back, but that's um, yeah, Mika. All right, this is our blue tongue skink. He is um, probably one of the most exotic pets we own and one of the biggest pets we own as well. He is our biggest lizard. Definitely our biggest lizard, but he... And um, our smelliest lizard too. <laughs> this is Skylar. We call him Skylar because it was a gender neutral name and you can't really sex blue tongue skinks. skinks. So, um, but he's very cuddly. We actually rehomed him. Um, the person that had this little guy could not keep him anymore or her anymore. So um, we decided to house Skylar because he's super cool. Um, and he also has a little dent in his tail. Oh, hi, buddy. Wanna crawl on me too? So his little dent, I don't know if you guys can see it, but he has a little, he's crawling too. <laughs> um, he has a little dent, so he is, um, we know he was not in a good place, so we decided to home him because he is now in the best place he can be, which is with us. He's sniffing. He's like, <laughs> he loves to explore. He's a really good guy. <laughs> so this is our red-eyed crocodile skink. Um, his name is Gar. We actually got him at a convention. He's one of the few animals that we actually bought from an uh, actual breeder store. He, we don't take him out as much because these animals stress out super easily. But these they stay relatively small and he's a really chill animal he's never tried to buy or anything he does have a skill mis missing he he's had had that skill we we actually got him because he had the skill missing we wanted to make sure that he had a <laughs> we wanted to make sure he had a good home and i don't see him complaining so yeah good he has job. a really good home here so this is scar the red eye crocodile skink. Red eye crocodile skink. Skirt, 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 scar! Yeah. Now introducing <laughs> our crested our geckos. Our family. Our biggest crested. collection of animals. So, first off is Carla, the crested gecko. She's ready to jump. Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carla actually was our first crested gecko. Uh, she was the longest animal. I work at a pet store, and she was the the animal that has been there the longest. She was actually the only animal that was there as long as I've been there. So that's the reason that I took her. I started playing around with her. I got attached, and she's a really big and honestly cuddly girl. So I decided to bring her in with us. That's our first crystal gecko, Carla. <laughs> so. 
This is our next crested gecko. His name is Crentist, and the story behind that is we watch The Office too much. <laughs> you won't get the reference if you watch The Office. But um, Crentist was actually um, our latest buy of our crested geckos. Um, yeah. He was also a rehome. Yeah, yeah. Um, we pretty much foster all of our animals, if you guys haven't noticed. But we pretty much um, fostered this one. The owner. Um, he he was moving, and he couldn't take any of his um reptiles with him so i offered to get this beautiful crusty off his hands he's actually our first <laughs> dalmatian and he's really pretty but you can tell he hasn't been handled much so he's really hyper and very anxious that's what yeah. that's why he's jumping all over the place and he's a boy yeah for he's sure. our first uh, well he's our second boy well, maybe third. Sure, boy, yeah. Well, because we don't know about Caleb, so, but yeah. There. This is Crentist. The Crentist, dentist. The dentist. This little buddy is is Celeste. She is um another of our females. She <laughs> was <laughs> actually a rehome from someone that couldn't take care of her anymore. Apparently, the previous owner had to move and her new roommates they didn't want any reptiles or any animals so she is a rehome and she is a really pretty girl we're hoping later on maybe breed her and have her get some new hatchlings out in this world that's celeste celeste <laughs> next up is our youngest crested gecko calypso he we're hoping <gasps> We're hoping Calypso's a, uh, a male, but we um, don't know for sure. He's too young. He needs to grow a little bit more grams. Calypso <laughs> was one of our first crested geckos. She, he was uh, actually our second. He was actually our second after um, Carla. Carla. But... Um, he was a rehome, actually. We got him at, um, from someone that loved crested geckos, but um, couldn't take care of him anymore so or her we're still kind of waiting <laughs> but um he's been he's healthy he's amazing and very small so <laughs> we're waiting for him to grow a little bit to be able to be mating with one of our other crusties it's gorgeous that's calypso calypso um next craziest animal that we have is another crested gecko believe it or not but this one um is actually was bought at a shelter. His name is Kurt. He is um, for sure a male. He is about two years old maybe. Not 100% sure. <laughs> so Kurt was actually our first male that we got that was for sure a male. But once we, like again, it might have been another situation where he wasn't grabbed much or he could have been a wild card from the beginning. We are actually not completely sure about Kurt's background, <laughs> but He's quick. he was the only male crest or the only big crest to get go there. So we wanted to rehome a semi adult or adult, I would say, crest to get go and give him a good home for the rest of his life. Hopefully, by working with him slowly, he will get used to handling. That is my. Aspiration? <laughs> <laughs> My aspiration. That's our goal with um with Kurt. He seems like he was just not gonna get a good home, so we decided to home him and um, work with him to see if um, someday he can become as comfortable as our other geckos and um, become the loving gecko that every gecko can become. <laughs> so there's there's Kurt and his wonderful speed. <laughs> he, he gotta go fast, twenty four seven. So this is our first gargo gecko, Gambino. He is... Yes, after Childish Gambino. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was our first um, gargoyle, and he is a really pretty gargoyle, too. There's nothing much to say about um, Gambino. He was also, a, like most of our reptiles, he was also um, a rehome. We took him in after someone... Act didn't want to take care of them anymore he was like uh he ne he was gonna move so he needed to get rid of all his animals so 
I took the opportunity. Yeah, and now here he is with a wonderful family of a lot of geckos. <laughs> Expanding our new Caledonian gecko <laughs> collection. So that's Gambino. Gambino. So this is Genevieve. This is another gargoyle gecko, or however you say it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really good with names. She was also rehomed by the same person from that rehomed us um, Gambino. She is hopefully later in a somewhat future be Gambino's um, partner in crime. But as you can see, the size difference is way, way off. So <laughs> she has a long way to go. Yes, yeah, so um, even though they look like crested geckos, these are not crested geckos. Um, they, a lot of people do get that confused. They are, let's say, fancy crested fancy geckos. Crested geckos. <laughs> these are way more expensive, but... <laughs> Super fun to have. So yeah. um, this is Genevieve. 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 These little two are Lance and Larry. Are two female crested geckos? <laughs> <laughs> we originally thought they were um, male, but turns out they're both female. <laughs> yeah, they were both um, rehomed to us from the same person. They they were supposed to be a bonded pair that didn't pair, but. Um, they seem really attached to each other. They you'll see them cuddling at night. They're really good um, pet leopard geckos, and they're a big size. Like they're a really good size. They're they're really easy geckos as well to maintain. They're they're not um, too difficult to have as pets. So we're we're very happy with um, rehoming these two wonderful female leopard geckos. Oh, cute. Look at that ISO or, or F-stop or whatever <laughs> camera. You don't understand camera stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, we're really happy with homing these two um, geckos. So. This is our Sokeo tortoise. This is Torta. And she is also a rescue. Um, the Humane Society actually brought her to her, to her shop. We have no idea how old she is, but we she's been fed regularly. She's been given a good, good, good big, big enough yard for her to roam around. She looks very really healthy and she's really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> she actually is very adventurous, but she likes to pee and poop on people, so I'm being very cautious with her. <laughs> and she's also very small, believe it or not. So Kata yeah. Turtises grow humongous. She's probably gonna be in our will, but it's probably one of our like like proudest animals to own because he's, she's so cool. Her name's Torta, by the way. <laughs> Torta, to Torta la Tortuga. If you talk Spanish, you probably understand, but... Um. This is Alberta, our snow corn snake. <laughs> corn snake. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alberta was actually our first uh, ever uh, snake, and she is also one of the few um, buys from a pet store that we have. <laughs> she, she had a really big meal today, so that's why she's a little like stupid. <laughs> she's she. You can tell. Yeah, she's, she's chubby right now. That so, it was a huge pinky. She's eating pinkies right now. <laughs> she eats them. <laughs> it's right there, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> she okay, eats wait. a pinky every Friday. She is very gorgeous. At first, we thought she was a bino, but once we were doing a little bit of research, we found out that there was no corn snake. She is actually really beautiful and. And really calm. We actually. Oh, I felt it move. <laughs> oh, that was weird. <laughs> She ate a really big um, pinky today, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it's really thick right there, right here in this area. She's sensitive because that's what she's digesting right now. Yeah, so Alberta is hopefully one of our few other snakes we will possibly get in the future. So stay tuned for that. We named her Alberta because it was Alberto, but then we found out it was a female. So then we switched it to Alberta. Alberta. <laughs> so it wouldn't but, be that much of a change. Yes, but this is Alberta. Alberta! So this 
is, is Charlie and Chumba. They are both chinchillas and Charlie was actually the first pet that I got ever. Um, ever. So he's very near and dear to our heart and Chumba was bought about a year later to hopefully be their mate. We actually and just recently got her about what, like four months ago maybe? Around there. And she is seeing a little bigger, so hopefully... we I had grabbed her about a month ago, um, checking out because we thought that she was pregnant. Um, and now that I lift her now, she feels much bigger. So um, we might have little chinchillas soon. <laughs> and they love hopping around. They're very anxious animals, so They're they don't very... like being handled much. Ah, you dropped your treat, mamas! They're getting pet, but they didn't like getting picked up much. But they're really good pets, they're really hyper, they're really interactive. And I don't know if you guys seen that meme, but of the chinchilla going like... Yes. <laughs> One of the only animals we cannot take out, unfortunately, but very fortunate to have been our pet, is Earl, the electric blue crayfish. Yeah, Earl, we actually got online and was a present for my mother and um, we got really attached to it. He honestly eats anything that's in his tank. He started with 35 fish in his tank and now there's only about six fish with him. <laughs> that's true, there's only, what are, what are they like? There are six scavengers so and they can eat what they can catch. So and if he's you- been, he, He's been um, molting pretty well. Yeah, he's, he's been- He went from from a good, from a, from a two inch, inch to a four, four, five, five inch. inch he's, he's grown quite a bit since we got him and I have also no complaints with him. He's, other than he kills all the, <laughs> the fish. Kills all the animals, but all the, all the fish in his you tank. should expect that when you own a crayfish, if you make the proper research. So, that's it. Yeah. So, last but not least, this is Henry, our hedgehog. He he is one of our most recent buys, I believe. It's like three months ago to not like two months ago. He is very interactive. He used to be super shy. He's still kind of shy, but he he's a lot more interactive. He almost made me laugh. <laughs> like, oh, but he's a really cool animal. He's really I have no regrets with Henry. He <laughs> he loves eating his worms. And he does running miles at night. So, this is Henry. Ta-da! <laughs> oh! <laughs> we have come to the end of the video. Um, <laughs> we're, huh? we're, <laughs> well, I'm just very happy to be able to um, finally um, start um, Hymeli Pets. Mm -hmm. We have been thinking about this for quite a while since we got our first probably pet together mm -hmm. or at least have been talking to each other about getting pets together so we're very, we're very happy to be able to introduce all of these animals to you guys finally mm -hmm. and just having a growing family because every day it changes for us I mean just yesterday we got a few animals so mm -hmm. every day our animals change and we're happy to be rescue um, home a rescue home for these wonderful yeah. exotic animals that we find. And I'm sure we'll rescue a whole bunch more in the new future, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> and Anything you have to say? Um, no, just go ahead and if you guys like these videos, go give it a like. I don't want to be so cliche, but give it a like and share with your friends. Um, we also have an Instagram. Hi Melly Pets. <laughs> At Hi Melly Pets, I will put it right here. Mm -hmm. And um, just stay tuned for more, more videos of our, we'll make individual videos of everything and just leave request of whatever you'd like or questions about any animal because I know there's probably so many yeah so <laughs> many all right yeah. <laughs> yeah. we're gonna I choose know, our animals again I guess, I guess, I guess we're gonna choose our animals again <laughs> this, this is a video hi <laughs> <laughs>